I'm Ari, welcome back to the ranch. It's the middle of January, it's about 10 degrees. We did though, we did get about a foot of snow recently. So this weekend we'll do a little snowmobiling and it's a good weekend to do a little woodworking. I got a interesting piece of wood. We're gonna turn it into a coffee table. Let's go check it out. So since there's about a foot of snow out there, it's a good day for some indoor work. This stack of wood is a black walnut tree that grew up at the Detroit Zoo. A friend of mine who owns a tree business cut it down, gave it to me about eight or 10 years ago. I used a Alaskan chainsaw mill to slab it. And I built a bunch of stuff with a bunch of the other trees, other, other pieces of wood from that, oh, Emmy. So anyway, let's, uh, Let's undo this stack. I got some legs and we'll make a quick and dirty coffee table. Just like this one, quick and dirty. Well, slow and dirty. <laughs> it's the underside. A couple years ago, I ordered these legs. Finally, getting around to using them. Coffee table. Ta da. You like your new table? Check that thing out. Simple and easy. What happened? Well, when you said fast and dirty, you weren't kidding. Okay. Accidentally threw a coat on without recording. Does this thing look great or what? An hour of sanding, 20 minutes of bolting legs on. The wood does all the work. I don't, I don't even have to do anything to make it look good. We're gonna give it a light sanding with some 220, throw one more coat on, put it in place. All right, let's stand. So all we're gonna do now is brush on a coat of polycrylic by Minwax. I'm just gonna use a cheap chip brush I had laying around. Put one more coat on, see how she looks. pretty simple to see 
a pretty piece of wood, even if it's not perfect, can make a really nice table. Flaws and all. The saw marks are part of the character. Shows the work I did, cutting that with a chainsaw. I wanted to keep some of that and just see, see what it would look like. I love it. Let's see what it looks like in the room. All right. Got the coffee table in the den. It's beautiful. Next project in the mud room. Got a chair. Broken seat. Let's glue that back together. Should be pretty simple. Clean it up, get some wood glue. Glued up, let that dry. See how she feels tomorrow. Alright, so we got here. They even stayed together. All right, let's do something else. So this is a 2010 Skidoo GSX carbureted and we're ready to go do a little sledding however this sucker will only run with the choke on so let's take a look at a few things and see if we can figure out what's going on
shit now. No, we'll have more. No, we won't. Oh, yeah, we will. It's still early yet. No, because we're about to buy a starter relay. We'll use it next year. We'll put it in this year. Put it in there next we'll year. use it next year. Yeah. No, we'll get it in there this year. We'll get it in next time we're up. We'll put it on. Chris, you having fun? Switch it out. Chris, you having fun? I'm, I, I'm loving this. This Good. is like the best. Good. Fresh powder, fresh snow. How's flood running? The flood's running great. Okay. No issues whatsoever. All right. No, it's really good. So when we went snowmobiling today, we, we drug this thing back in. This has a funny story as to how I ended up with it. And it's going to be an interesting project coming up. Keep your eyes out. Well, that was a really nice weekend. We, uh, we got to do a little snowmobiling and we got to do a little woodworking. Um, had a good time with some friends. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll, we'll see you on the next one.